Do people make Scarlett Johansson jokes with you all the time? They do. <laughs> All the time. Also the Hanson brother jokes. Oh, there's no end to it. Yeah. Oh well. I was the fourth brother that kept locked in the attic. Right. <laughs> we embraced the, uh, the look, the feel, the story, and the characters of the first film. It built a mythology between 1982 and 2010 and then created a new story to kind of pick it up from there. It's a movie that really makes you want to buy some glow-in-the-dark pajamas. Yes, it does. <laughs> it does. It is amazing that after all these years, one sees this look and says, that's Tron. It's got a, like, a really cool, trippy look to it, you know? Like, I watch the movie and I just want to take mushrooms and play frisbee. Yeah. The first Tron came out two years before I was born, but I became a huge fan of it while we were shooting the movie, and, of course, before we started. The first Tron came out before I was born, too. Really? We have so much in common. Uh, so much. We should start a family. We should. It's a pretty long break in between sequels. Yeah, it is. It is. I, don't, I can't even think of maybe Wall Street maybe is close mm -hmm. to it. Are you looking forward to making Tron 3 in 30 years? Yeah, why not? Why not? Because with mocap, I can look so good still. <laughs> I'll tell you what. So what's your character like? I played uh, the right-hand man to our sinister bad guy, Clue, uh, a comically inept slapstick buffoon. Well, they based the role on me. Yes, basically. <laughs> when, when I met you, I, I felt a strange... <laughs> Kinship? ...weird <laughs> knowingness. I prepare the programs for the, for the games, yeah. And also, though, I work for Caster and kind of help the information flow from the city to him. You help the gladiators get dressed? I do, yeah. Could you help me get dressed? Do you... Are uh -oh. you a gladiator? Ding! Do you want me to help you? I, 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 I could use some help. I don't think you want that. I got to play a warrior with a big heart. Your character's like, I'm hot, but I'll punch you. Yeah, but she'll also hug you. Right. That's the thing about Cora. She's like, hoo-hoo, I love you. How did you de-age Jeff Bridges? We recorded that performance with uh, helmet-mounted cameras, and then we mapped that performance onto a digital version uh, of himself, which was then put on a, a body of another actor. You made him look like 20 years younger. Yeah, we kind of aimed for um, the Jeff Bridges kind of of 1984, 1985. If you wanted to, you could de-age him even more and make a reboot to Look Who's Talking. <laughs> it's, good, it's good thought. <laughs> I was so excited to work on this project just because visually, you know, it was so beautiful and Jen was such a specific kind of creature. You might be the hottest computer program. Wow. That's the first time I've ever had that. Thank you. In this interview, you're the eye candy. I'm the eye vomit. <laughs> no. No. Thanks. What am I, chop liver? Yes. You're chop liver. Other than being a sex symbol, which is something that we've learned now from the, the early screenings. I know what it's like to be a sex symbol. <laughs> See, I can tell. So, the three um, of us. The three of us radiate such sex wattage. <laughs> You're married to a prince, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. So that makes you a princess. Mm-hmm. Do you need a jester? <laughs> a court jester? Yeah. We've really been looking everywhere. It's so hard to find a good jester these days. Okay, well, let me know. Okay. Strong.